Aaron, what happened with Garrett Cole in that second inning? I mean, I think just lost the strike zone a little bit. Um, you know, probably, probably got a little bit out of his rhythm. Thought he was pretty sharp, actually, in the first inning. And then, you know, the, the Willie Castro at bat, you know, where he actually got ahead of him and started spoiling a lot of pitches, and then he eventually lost them and just, um, you know, was just missing around the zone a little bit, and then started spraying his fastball a little bit. And I probably should I should probably shouldn't have left him out there as long as long as I did. Um, just just the weather and the number of pitches he was racking up. But you know, he was at that two out, and I was like just wanting to get wanting him to get through it, and uh, you know, just couldn't make that final pitch to get himself out of the jam there. We rarely see him unravel like that. Did you feel as though the weather was a big factor in it? I'm sure. You know, I, I think for, for as much as it was a struggle for the offense tonight, I, I still think there were a little bit of issues with every pitcher coming in, just kind of dialing in that command a little bit. Um, and, and, and um, you know, the, the cold can always play a role in that. Are you concerned with, with Cole's start to the season? I'm actually I'm, – I'm not. I'm really not. I, th I think he's um, – I, I really believe he's poised for a big year for us, and uh, know he's gonna, you know, carry us for a long stretch. Uh, you know, just hasn't gone his way so far, but um, I do feel like he's close. He's just got to, you know, get locked in with his rhythm, and and he'll take it from there. When you say rhythm, he got out of his rhythm. Do you mean the Willie Castro? Or you know, I just felt like probably probably nibbling around the zone a little bit, missing with some close pitches, and then, you know, uh, you know. Lost a couple secondary pitches because I thought he came out and I thought everything was really sharp there in the first inning. And then just, you know, as that as that inning mounted on him and that pitch count got up, you know, and, and then I don't didn't do him any favors by pushing him as long as I did. It was just like wanting to get him through one more hitter there. And, uh, you know, I think when he just started losing the zone a little bit, he got a little bit out of his rhythm. Pretty unusual to see him throw pitches during the previous half inning you know obviously it was a long inning right but to go on the field did you get did you get a sense that that inning played a role in it um I, I I feel like I've seen him do that before sometimes he can do it underneath you know where um so it's just such a odd start to the game in every way you know our side their side um so I think I, I don't I don't read that much into that other than that just on a cold night him wanting to keep moving in, in a long wait tells you he's poised for a big year the, the stuff's there the stuff's there that really with every pitch and I and I think I think you know I think the cutter's going to play an important role for him too um you know I, I would even go back to you know opening day you know the first four hitters were not good right but he settled in got rolling from there I thought overall he threw the ball well against Toronto Vladdy got him on a ball off the plate. So, like, I, I get it. The results aren't there. And, and we're talking about Garrett Cole. And, um, but I, I feel like it's a cl lot closer to popping than, than, than would meet the, the lines these first few.